Good morning everyone, how are we all doing? So good morning! Thanks, Ryder! Bye 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 bye! No, he's distracted by Joel's banana. Um, I just thought I'd do like a little family vlog today because we haven't vlogged as a family for ages, have we? Oh, thank you. Let's just dump this banana on my lap. Um, he's just admitted to being the pooper. Oh. No, it's not Joel. Ah, this is the girl who <laughs> Well, yeah, I'll read stories. So we're going to just chill here for a bit and have stories. The boys actually treated us to a lay-in this morning, which was nice. We didn't go in and get them till eight o'clock. <laughs> it was needed. Um, Joel was actually awake, but he was just playing in his room. So he called out once and then he kind of went back to playing. So we were, yeah. Yeah, so we'll do. So this morning we are going to walk down to Next, which is about 20 minutes away um, to walk. And we're gonna get both the boys feet measured because I need to order Ruben some sandals for um, summer. And we're going on holiday in like four or five weeks time. Um, like five weeks time, I think. So I need to get him some sandals. Obviously he's not walking yet, so I've never had his feet measured. Um, so we need to get your feet measured, see if you fit into any of Joel's old sandals. Um, let's put this away, because you're going to make them Oh yeah, we like kangaroo beach, don't we? I've got a load of washing to put away. I've got a load of washing to go on. As you can see, the basket is a joke. I'm going to do that this morning. And then we'll come back and have some lunch and then um, we are going to go down to the fun fair on the seafront, aren't we? You want me to dance with you? <laughs> Here all summer, it just gets funner. Let's go down to Kangaroo Beach. <laughs> um, so yeah, fun fair this afternoon, and it's your first ever fun fair, isn't it? Well, you've been on rides at like festivals and stuff before, but at, like the food festival last summer, you went on a ride. But you've never... Stop shouting at him! You've never actually been to a proper fun fair, so we're going to go. I think Reuben will be able to go on some little rides as well. Come and sit here then. So hopefully they'll both be able to go on some stuff and then I've got work tonight so so we're going to come back by half four so I can have a nap before I leave for work at half six. So that is our plan. It's all getting a bit hectic here, isn't it? So I'm going to read some stories to them and we'll catch you in a bit. Because you're not sleeping now, so you don't need it. We'll put it away for nap time. Oh, you two are cute. So Steve's just with the boys. He's about to take them downstairs to have some breakfast so I can get ready. Hello, mister. Hello. Ignore that blackout blind. I hate it in the summer because we have these huge blackout blinds that are just cluttering up the rooms during the day. You okay? Um, so yeah, I've just come in to put Reuben's laundry away really quickly and I just wanted to show you these really cute little outfits I got off Vintage. So um, I've got one for Joel as well, which is on the way in the post. It's exactly the same. They're from Next originally. I managed to find them both on there in each of their sizes and I literally paid like £2 for this. And it's been worn once for a wedding um, and the same for Joel. It's been worn once and I paid like three, two or three pounds. Um, whereas brand new, you'd pay a lot more and because they're only going to wear them for a couple of weddings that we've got to go to this summer um so i didn't want to spend loads so i thought with a white shirt like a short sleeve shirt and then i can get like a little beige bow tie or something to match the shorts it would just be so cute so this is like gray braces with the beige shorts i've got a little star on the back and i just thought oh my gosh why are little boys formal outfits so cute daddy's just making breakfast isn't he you wanted mommy to play in your room We've just been fixing his car with his little toolbox and now we are going to get his aqua doodle out. Your omelette's going to be ready in a minute though. Yeah. Is daddy making you an omelette? Yeah. What else is in there? Huh. Have you got everything out? Yeah. Okay. Again, these blackout blinds. Just so annoying. I wish we could get like a permanent one to put up. We might actually do that for next year. 
good boy. That's it. Look, drawing those gaps. Not with the roller, darling, with the pen. That's it. You can do some letters, can't you? What letter's that one? Six. What letter's that one? Six. No, it's a bit like a six. That's a zero. That's an O. Where's the Z? <laughs> Zed's down here, darling. He was really good in the bath the other night with his stick on, like, foam letters. But sometimes he still struggles a bit. But he was, yeah, the other night he was getting all of them. I think it just depends what mood he's in. Joel? Yeah, we'll go and see them picking up the rubbish. He wants to go and see his diggers. So it's 10 o'clock. We've actually made it. We made it out of the house. <laughs> That was a nod of approval. <laughs> this one's due a nap. We decided not to put him down at home, otherwise we'd just never get out. So hopefully right. he will nap in his pram. Right. And we've got the double in case he gets tired. So we're just walking down to next so we can get both their feet measured. We've both got bad backs. So... We've both got bad backs. We're so old. I can't even cope with him. He's like, Mummy, can I have my sunglasses on? Yes, darling. Well, you want to go and see your diggers first? Yeah. Well, we can go if we go up the shortcut. Cause no, I don't want to know where the open shortcuts. Well, where do you want to go? I want to see them. I want to see them. Yeah, but we'll go up that little, um, the little shortcut that you and Mummy found. I don't want to do one. But you it's like that one. Okay. I don't want to do There's no reasoning with a two-year-old two sometimes. I don't want to do little shortcut. Okay, we'll show Mummy where you went to, want to watch them from. We can't watch them for long because we haven't got much time to go and get your feet measured. And because we've got to be back to have lunch and then go to the fair, haven't we? I think the diggers are up here. Are they walking? Yeah. Are they walking? Oh, good balance. Get ready then. Get ready. Jump. <laughs> Come on then. Can you remember where we go? Go and get the foot measure board then. What size are you? I think he's a, th uh, I think he's a three. Yeah, just short of a three. Ooh. No, is he over? I think his toe goes over. Oh, Reuben. I think any shoes will get him fours just in case because yeah. he's not even walking yet, so I'm not going to go and buy a size three yet. I think he's, and he'll yeah, grow more before I holiday. I think he's just over the three, so I would get a four for him. Needs to do the other side. Right foot. Yeah, he's, he's definitely he's like three and a half on the other side. So we've just got back from our walk. It is twenty past eleven, so we're just going to do some lunch for the boys now because um, then they will go down for a nap, and we're going to leave for the fair at about half one. So Rude has got these sweet potato pakora balls from Aldi. I love these, they just look like that. Um, I'm probably, I've got some chicken breast strips in the air fryer, which I'm gonna have in a wrap with some salad. And I might put a few of these in and a bit of grated cheese as well, because they're really good. Then I've just got some watermelon that I'm gonna, not watermelon, honeydew melon that I've cut up in there that I'm gonna have a little bit of after. Just really fancy that today. Um, but yeah, Rubes has got these little balls that I'm going to cut up for him, some puffs, raspberries and cucumber. And then Joel is nice and easy at the moment. He just always asks for a sandwich. So he's got a cheese sandwich. Um, I offer him like cheese or ham and he always chooses cheese. And then some strawberries, puffs and cucumber. So nice and simple. We're going to go and eat this now and then I'm going to chill before the boys wake up and we go to the fair. What was that? I said, I just wanted to ask a quick question. I was who cut the water bit? Who cut the melon up? Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure you left it in the fridge for a week and didn't cut it up. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it got cut up yesterday by yours truly. Didn't it, Rubes? Did Tell I them. not credit Tell you? Tell them. Tell them the truth, Rubes. Um, Steve cut up the melon for me because I'm incapable of, I'm not incapable of doing stuff like that but I just forget that it's in the fridge and then I won't eat it unless it's cut up because I'm just always rushing around with the boys and I'm like, I'm too busy making their lunch, I don't have time to cut up like a whole melon, so, 
don't have time to cut the melon. <laughs> um, so yeah, Steve just wanted some credit that he cut <coughs> this melon up. So there you go. The boys are both just napping. It's um, 20 past 12 and I've just come upstairs. Um, Steve's chilling downstairs. I've just come upstairs to rest my back because I've been getting back spasms again I injured it at work and it's just it flares up on and off I also feel like I've got really bad indigestion today just really acidy in my tummy so I need to try and take something else for that in a minute but yeah I've just been laying here and um I've just seen um like a birth announcement and them saying that they're all happy in their little newborn bubble and they're feeling great and I don't know, like, I shouldn't even feel triggered by this, um, because obviously I'm really happy for those people, um, not that I know them, but yeah, um, and other people I know are having babies and are doing okay, and it just makes me so sad because I just looked at the calendar and I've just seen that Reuben's turning one in, like, I'm gonna try not to get upset, Reuben's turning one in, like, less than four weeks. <laughs> And I just don't know where the past year has gone and seeing people having babies now and just loving every, they just seem to be loving every minute of it. And I know you don't know what's going on behind closed doors, but I just remember I didn't feel like that. And it's nothing to do with Ruben, it's to do with me. And obviously I got diagnosed with postnatal depression slash anxiety when he was about three months old. But I didn't do anything about it until he was seven months because I was just in denial. I just remember the newborn days. I had the baby blues really badly with both boys actually. But I just remember the newborn days of Ruby and I just felt such... I was really happy and I did feel content and like my family was complete and I felt so grateful but I just remember just laying here then it just took me back to those feelings of intense intense sadness that I had I don't even know why I'm crying um I think it's just because it's so close to his first birthday and I just I knew I'd feel like this because I feel so guilty that I haven't enjoyed all of the first year and to be honest I've spent most of the first year just finding it so hard I never felt like that with Joel but I still had the baby blues really badly with Joel for about a month and had other struggles postpartum but I don't remember like I remember taking it in more which I think being in lockdown did help as well but I feel like this year has just gone so fast like even faster than what it did with Joel and I don't feel like I've fully taken it all in and enjoyed it and it just makes me so sad because he's such a lovely baby I just feel like he deserved more <sighs> sorry I just needed to let that out and I know that there'll be a lot of people watching this that can relate and I know that I'm on medication for everything now and I'm feeling better, but there's a lot of, obviously a lot of deep rooted issues that I think I still need some therapy for because to be triggered by someone having a baby and feeling happy, why am I triggered by that? Like, I obviously need to speak to someone because there's obviously still some issues there that I need to deal with to make myself be at peace with everything. There's, I think it's just, I haven't ripped, fully ripped the plaster off yet and spoken about how I felt in those early days after I had Reuben. I remember just feeling such an intense sadness and grieving so much for Joel and I'd never felt anything like it. And to me, it's so alien when people say that they're happy in the postpartum days because I just don't, I haven't felt like that either time. I've just been in tears most of the time. Um, so I just imagine when someone's just had a baby that that will be their life for the first month or so. But obviously with Reuben it was longer. It's just alien to me that people could be sat there feeling happy and not crying. Like, that's amazing. 
I just don't know what that feels like. And it just, it just makes me really sad. Anyway, I just wanted to get that off my chest. I'm gonna do my makeup now. Take some Gaviscon because my tummy is really uncomfortable. And yeah, I'm definitely gonna get these issues sorted because he's coming up to a year old and I don't wanna carry them with me into his next year. I want to be, I want to enjoy everything more, but yeah, it does just make me sad how I felt in the early days, especially with Ruben. I just found it so hard and I know some people have more partner support than I did because Steve works a lot. That's not his fault. He's amazing when he's here. But oh God, those solo bedtimes with a screaming newborn and a toddler and I used to just lose the plot and I used to shut myself. I used to put Ruben in his car and I used to shut myself in the room and just sit there crying while Reuben was crying in the next room because I couldn't cope and Joel would be banging on the door to get in and see me so I'd let him in and he'd just see me in like floods of tears because I couldn't cope with both of them needing me at bedtime and both of them crying and that was to do with my obviously my PND but yeah anyway I said I'd make a video about this separately but yeah I just needed to get that off my chest today because it's just made me a bit I think I'm okay and then like I said something will trigger me something as simple as seeing someone enjoy life in those newly postpartum days and not cry and not feel tearful and just feel really happy and content I don't know why that's triggered me I'm, I just feel like a horrible person that that's just triggered me why am I triggered by that that's I should be happy for that person but yeah like I said I need to there's obviously some issues that I need to discuss and we will get there it's just such a roller coaster isn't it but yeah I'm gonna do my face now because I've gone all blotchy and I'll catch you guys in a bit we are on our way to the fair it is 10 to 2 we've actually made it out the house on time why are my sunglasses wonky <laughs> Um, your nose is wonky. My nose is not wonky. <laughs> this is why he's never in any of the vlogs. You've got ears that are different, slightly different heights. Thank you very much. Loads of motorcycles. Joel, are you excited? Yeah. Yeah. He just went... It is motorbikes. We were just driving along and he went, Daddy, I'm excited. He's excited. We need to stop and get some Why cash. Because How I many think motorbikes were there? It will be cash only and like, who, who has cash? nowadays so I've got like a fiver on me so we need to stop and get some cash and then hopefully it's not too busy so we can park. I really need to sort these out because it's not great. Okay. Off he goes! Come on then! What's that? We're going to get some tokens!
cream. Is that yummy? Is that nice, darling? This is what Joel's really been looking forward to all day. And then hopefully we'll go on some more rides because we've got like eight tokens left. Try some. No, you can't grab it. No, just try, just lick a bit. No, it's not gonna work. He just wants to grab it. And try some? No? Oh, that's really kind, Joel. That's so kind. He's a nice brother. completely forgot to vlog <laughs> on the way home but um yeah just gonna go ahead and leave the vlog there because I am um, it's four o'clock so I'm just gonna take a quick nap before work um and Steve's just starting the boys dinner so hope you guys had a lovely bank holiday weekend um sorry for my emotional rant earlier <laughs> just needed to get that off my chest um hope you've enjoyed this vlog and I will catch you in the next one Mwah.